If you want a pin loom but don't have the way to build it, how to do the wood portion, no worries. Today I'm going to show you how to make the loom and you don't even need a saw. If you're not familiar with what a pin loom can do for you, this was wove out of a pin loom. It really has a ton of options and I'm going to have future videos on how to use these for placemats, for pot holders, baby blanket. I'm going to do a purse. So the options are fantastic for a pin loom, but you need the loom first. Okay, in the intro I, I had told you, you do not need a saw to make a pin loom and I am going to show you the solution. It is an art canvas. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we take a simple art canvas and turn it into a pin loom. So I'm gonna take it one step further. This is a rectangle loom that I found some artwork at our local thrift store. I took off the artwork and converted it to a pin loom, so I'm going to show you that as well. So if you ever have any questions during the video, please comment down below. We get back to you as soon as possible. We have a lot of weaving videos. We have some that need a loom, some that don't. Uh, it's t-shirts, uh, sheets, twine. So check out our playlist uh, for all the weaving options, but let's get started. Ross said he would work on this loom for me a little bit later, so I'm going to get it ready for him. This is a art canvas that we found that was damaged, so it was half price because it comes with its own little hole in it, but the good thing is we don't want the canvas at all, so I'm going to get this ready to make a pin loom. This loom is 12 by 12, so um, it is a square, and it really is going to make a really nice addition to my other pin looms. I have one that's 8 by 8 and 10 by 10, but since this one came damaged at 12 by 12, I thought it would be a great one to add. So I'm just going to rip off the canvas. No need to uh, go through the trouble of taking out these staples. I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife and score the canvas off the back. So what you need to do is we're going to measure in centimeters. And so we want it to be a square and the staple on this one is going to be right in the way to do one down there. So at this point here is where I'm going to have Ross put our nail. And so if I put one there, at the same point over here is 27 centimeters. So that's 27 and you'll want it to be 27 this way as well. So in whatever size frame you have, just make it, mark it so that it is a perfect square. So we also want them to be in a straight line. So I am going to take a straight edge and mark a line where the nails are going to go and put one in each corner. So let me do the math and uh, then I'll show you what my marks look like. Okay, I've marked a straight line all the way around and have a square um, with tick marks every centimeter. And so this one happens to be 27 centimeters square. So Ross is going to drill holes there and I will put in the nails and in a matter of minutes, we have our own pin loom. Okay, I have let Ross into <laughs> my sewing room and he is going to help us put the nails in the uh, frame. And so I do have these all marked at uh, the centimeter mark. We're going to drill them so we can put the nails in. Here is the loom um, that is the 11 by 17. It's a much thicker loom and so we put inch and a half nails in that one. This is a much thinner loom so we're going to put inch nails in it. So Ross has it set up with a drill bit that is the same uh, width as the nail and he has purchased um, what do you call those? Uh, I just call them stop collars. 
stop collars uh, for the drill bits. Um, we have those on Amazon, or we found those on Amazon, and the link is down below. So here's the, the batch that it comes with. So you just match up the collar with the, sa the size bit that you're going to be using, and that allows you to drill uh, an even depth. <sighs> Okay, so with all the holes drilled, uh, you just put the, the nails in. You can just finger push them in um, and put quite a few in and then just tap it. Um, you just want to make sure it's kind of in there nice and tight. Um, and if you're a, a big burly guy, you're going to want to make sure you use a nice flowered hammer like mm -hmm. Ross is using. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And so once you have all your nails in, your pin loom is complete. Another thing you can do to make a pin loom is you can find a piece of artwork that is out of a frame, out of a canvas. Um, I actually got this one at the thrift store for 99 cents. And just remove the canvas and you'll have your frame underneath. I have all of the uh, canvas off the frame and it is a super solid, really nice frame. I just left the tape on the back because that doesn't matter. So now I'm going to take a ruler and mark one centimeter all the way around this and we'll put nails in it. So if you have any questions while you're putting your loom together, always comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. That is always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.